What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Caesar with Caesar Gets Crypto, and we are talking about Jesus Coin today. I tried making a video on it. I actually did. I made a nice long video about it earlier. Um, it had a great intro too, damn it. But uh, um, forgive me, Jesus, for cursing in front of thee. Um, but I had some technical issues. I was trying to work it out, trying to salvage it, but I, I couldn't. So um, gave Microsoft damn permissions that I just shouldn't have given it anyways because it didn't it didn't work out. So anyways, from bottom to top here. It looks like we're breaking out. The reason I wanted to talk about it today, I didn't have anybody request it, um, but the reason we're breaking out is we closed, we had a day that closed below this here. And in my last video, I was saying that we'd probably just bounce around this range. I wasn't expecting us to break down below this range that we have. I said that it's possible, you know, it's completely possible, but I, I didn't really expect that to happen personally. Um, but if we were to confirm that, we would just need a day to close below this white line, which we did. That should have been the first indication that we were going to go lower. I would consider this to be our all-time lows. I wouldn't consider this first day madness to be all-time lows. So taking taking that into account, going from what was previously all-time lows to the current all-time highs, this is the FIB range we have. And we could go down to the 1272. That's about a 12 to 15% drop from here. As I said, I made a video already, so I know that that's where it is. The 1618 on this smaller FIB range where we had a recent low to high that sent us down here, the 1618 lines up exactly with this 1272. It literally, like, look, right? You can see it, that blue line, how it's right there, right? And if I move this, like it just like disappears, yeah. Um, it's right there. So I think that that could be a good area to bottom. I think buying now, I would give it the green light. I'm not buying this thing. I, I don't plan on buying this thing. I wouldn't recommend anybody that I know and love buy this thing. But if you, my good people, want to buy this thing, um, I think that it's fair to buy it now. Because even though, yes, it could drop, uh, what, 16% from here? It could drop 16% from here. Um, it could drop more than that even, right? It could drop down to uh, the eight zeros point six nine there. Um, that'd be a 59% drop from here. It could do that. If it was to do that, it'd probably do it very quickly, right? Jesus coin likes to bottom out very quick and then come back up. I'm looking for a day that has a wick like this. But the reason I say it's a decent time to buy now is because we are 91% away from the all-time highs right now. We are at a point where if you were to go back to the all-time highs and you were to buy here, you are going to be at a, I'm sorry, I was off by a little bit. You're going to be at a 10x in growth. 900% is a 10x. It's not a 9x, it's a 10x. And actually to the all-time high specifically is 10.8x. So this thing, if it breaks the all-time high, I would say that this thing at the current price has 11x in it, no problem. Um, you can move up very quickly with a coin that only has a $2.7 million market cap. Um and the thing is, this thing, being that low of a market cap, it's a 1,000 exable coin. It, it definitely is a 1,000 exable coin. And that, that, all that means, I know, I know that you hear that and you're like, bet the house. No, 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 no. That means bet a small amount. If you take $100 and you 1,000 exit, that means you have $100,000 off of $100 right? If you take $100 and this thing death spirals to zero, it's a rug pull, it's a total scam. Well, you lost $100. Okay. You're not going to be too upset about that. But if you put, if you put a thousand dollars into this thing and a thousand dollars is a lot of money to you. Um, I mean, that's probably a lot of money to most people. Even if, even if you're like a millionaire, I'm sure nobody would want to just lose a thousand dollars. Um, but that, you know, I wouldn't recommend betting anything big on this. There's no need to. $10 could turn into $10,000, you guys. Like, literally, you could just chip in small little amounts. Go for it. But I wouldn't recommend, if you're a billionaire, you want to throw $10,000 in this thing, go for it, okay? You would probably be the bottom if you bought $10,000 worth this thing. But uh, but my, my general opinion, you guys, is I would give it the green light for buying now. I think that we very well do go lower. The RSI on the daily is just getting into the oversold zone. And you hear that oversold, that means, oh, it's a great time to buy. And maybe, maybe. But generally, when you get into the oversold zone, that's when you see your strongest moves um, to the downside. And this doesn't look like the strongest move we've seen yet. I would wait more for a day like this where we have a big wick. Maybe you're not going to catch the exact bottom. That's okay. But a day where you have a big wick. Um, something that's definitely bigger than 17%. You know, we had a day over here that was 25%. So I would expect something that's at least bigger than this candle currently um, to mark the low. The RSI could go all the way down to like zero, man. It could go all the way down to five to 10. And that would be kind of unlikely, but, but it very well could do that. So so just be aware that this, it doesn't have to stop here though. I think if you wanted to start DCAing, taking little nibbles, I would expect that we very likely do bottom in between this 1272 to the 0.1618 or the 1618. Um, and again, that's a range of like 16% to almost 60%. So that, that is a very big range to go through. And it's hard, hard waters to navigate because it is such a small chart, such a uh, new chart. But if, as I've heard through the comments, that 80% of this thing gets burned, 
if 80% of the coins that are locked up, they get burned on Christmas Day, which is what I've heard. I don't know if that's true. I haven't had any like real sources of authority to validate that other than you guys, you know, and, and comments are good, but hearsay is not enough for me to, to bet the house on or bet, bet anything really. Um, this is a low ranking coin. It's a low cap coin. There's a lot of potential for growth. And if it burns that many coins, even more so, right? The market cap would diminish a lot, which means that it's, it's got even, you know, if you burned 80% of the, the total circulating value or the total max supply right now, this market cap would drop tremendously. And just to get back to a very low cap of $2 million wouldn't take that much money to move it probably. Um, and that would, by the way, that just to get back, if you were to burn that, the market cap would go down to get it back to this, the price would be way higher than it is now. That's for sure. So, so again, I think buying this thing here is probably a safe bet. Um, and it will probably go lower. So, so just DCA, if you have a hundred percent of whatever you want to put in, maybe it's a hundred dollars, maybe it's $20, maybe you're ridiculous and you want to put a thousand dollars in this thing. Um, little bits, little, little bits. That's what I'd recommend. Little bits over, you know, maybe, maybe check in on it daily, but do little bits like once a week. Maybe that's what I'd recommend, right? Cause it is moving kind of slow and then methodical wait for a big flush out. If you see that big flush out and it happens to be at a, one of these areas that I've mentioned, then maybe go in a little bit heavier, but I would not recommend betting the farm on this thing by any means. Um, Again, you could turn a hundred grand from a hundred dollars. So this this thing, very high reward potential, very high risk. So do not bet the farm on this thing. And, and again, I mean that so much to the point that I am not buying this thing. I very much do think that it could go to new all-time highs, which again would be over a 10x from here, about 11x actually. Um, I very much do think that it has that potential in it, especially if you get that token burn like it's saying. And if this thing is a legitimate project that doesn't see a rug pull and death spiral down to the abyss, um, but if it is those things, that's why you bet a small amount, right? If you, if you can turn $100,000 from $100, why why risk a lot of money, man? You can you can go on a few vacations, um, more more than a few vacations with that kind of money, or just one really good vacation. But but uh, I don't know. That's that's really all I got to say, guys. The daily looks looks like it wants to go lower for sure on a four-hour basis in my video that I made before that just wouldn't get loaded. It's okay though. Um, we are kind of in this downtrend in the uh, in the RSI. So I would look for this as well, right? It's kind of parallel, you can see that. When we break out of this to the upside, the bottom might have already been in by then, maybe it's coming soon, but when we break out of this RSI downtrend that we're in right now, that would be a very strong indicator that we likely will um, have bottomed out and that it's a good time to get into. So I don't know. That's all I got for you guys. If you liked the video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to see more, and I will see you on the next one. Take care, bye-bye.